Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the General Butter Podcast. Today's podcast is sponsored by the majestic, the glorious, manscaped.com. Do you ever hear Nutsack Maury? <laughs> <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not today, because why? Because we have about four manscapes in the house. And uh, they don't just work on men's flaps, they work on <laughs> ladies' flaps as well. Manscaped, of course, the world's leading uh, male sculpting tool. They've got the Lawnmower yep. 4.0, uh, best in the business for my money. And uh, if you listen to this podcast and use the code GEMBAN1, you get 10% off. No, it's not, is it? It's 20% <laughs> off. Yeah, it's a celebration. Uh, the whole kit, more than 110 quid. So what's 20% off that? Money. Uh, 22 pound? Yeah. <laughs> is that right? Glorious. Oh um, my God. Yeah, they've got the full kit. You get a travel bag. You get uh, the lawnmower 4.0. You get the weed whacker, which is for in your ears, which I'm not quite at the hairy ears yet, but the nostrils are giving me jip. And uh, the ball toner, ball deodorant. It's all in there. Boxers. Boxers are, like, soft. Silken. You know? Yeah. Soft as a baby's arse. If you could wear a baby's arse, his pants don't. No, right, stop it. Well, we are talking about the royals here. Uh, shout out to manscaped.com Use the code Jamba at one for 20% off <laughs> Will you fuck up me? <laughs> the General Banter Podcast with Colin Jettis I'm joined today by my wife Maureen uh, What about me with all the buttons there? I felt like Timbaland Timbaland the producer Will you fuck up me? Wow you that's know? beautiful. That's not, that's not far off Kanye when he does those Sunday service things. And everyone has to sit there and be like, fuck me, man, he's a genius. And he's just like... I'm a dick in your mouth. Amen. Uh, this is, I don't know what the, it's Tuesday anyway, but uh, the Queen has died. Yes. The, you said they're going to take 10 days to bury her. Yeah. Um, yeah, just get all the, suck all the blood out of her, keep it. Is the one a cloner? What are you it's shaking? Your head? What are you shaking your head for? I don't know. We were watching a video earlier about all the you know British colonization going on. They were chopping people's balls off. And all. Oh, but anyway, yeah. the queen the queen died. Um, it was big news. We we were in Lavery's comedy club and all the comedians. Were, I was raging. I was on last because I had to you know figure out what jokes people had already done and then go up there and do mine. And that was the toughest part of my week. Aww. What did the message on Patreon say? I'm so glad you were able to go ahead and do your gig in these tough times. Uh, yeah. You were a big Queen fan, yes? The band? Yeah. No. <laughs> the woman? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, don't, I mean, the Queen's fine. Yeah. The Queen's fine. I mean, well, she's... Can, does that explain the tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> you took your fucking top off and the back was just full. Go see if the... Qu- just Q. The Queef. Uh, well, let's go and see if the Queef, name of the podcast there. We'll put that down. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know who could be not appreciating jokes with this now. What? For, yeah. You don't know who's not be appreciating jokes? Yeah. Well, not in this podcast. There are a few people who don't really care, do they? No. We're, we're fairly down the middle of all right. Yeah, it was just an old lady that died, but it's what she represents, isn't it? I mean, for better, she, you know, maybe was she 96? 96. I mean, fur played her, is all I can say, really. F- you know, if they did a big list of things she lived through, it'd be quite impressive. Extremely impressive. Extremely impressive. Um, Certainly not an easy job. It's not. Not a hard your, job? And your foot, well, it could be, I don't know. But in different ways. How hard's that? Just wave your hand a wee bit. She take, probably did more than that, like, but. Take the, I don't know, I didn't see her do much else, apart from <laughs> that there, take the corgis for a walk and kill her daughter-in-law. Where's my money? That's mm. it. Yeah. Diana? Hoax or? No, she was real. 
Ja. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it on programs and all sorts, yeah. I know. It's a, it's a, it's a weird one, isn't it? Because so many people are just brushing over so many things, you know. Did like, she, did, did you see done? the clip that there was like a news reporter? And if you'd watched the live footage, they did have to just keep basically waffling along because they had to fill up so much time before she even died. They're just like, so yeah. it's still the same, you know. So they really were trying to just talk and talk and talk for hours. But at one point, one of them, there's like a clip of one of them saying something about you know, energy crisis and like, which is, you know, basically insignificant given the new news. And everyone's like, really? Like, it's well, just insignificant about, now. Queen said so people, insignificant that people are going to literally basically probably starve to death. But yeah, coming up to winter and God knows how much all these state funerals cost. But, you know, with this, it's insignificant now. With this cost of living, you know, there'll be people who won't be able to afford electricity to watch the news. To watch her funeral, and wait, exactly. See, when the, when the depression is over and people start getting money back and they put 50p in the meter and it starts working and the TV comes on and then they find out the Queen died. Oh my God, They yeah. are going to be furious. Yeah. Furious. Once they get some money with the Queen's face on it and realise she's not there. there. There'll be people just turning up being like, who's this guy on the fiver? Yeah. I wonder how quickly they do change the money. I would say some of the money... I read somewhere they said very quickly. Is it? Somewhere I read they said very quickly they would change it. I don't know if that's true. Probably. But somewhere said they're going to change... What was it? Just a lot, a lot of those types of things. They, they don't do like a coronation or something. I think for like a year or something. Because it's like bad taste to do it too quickly oh, yeah. or something. But I think a lot of the things they like change really quickly. Because they have to. Well... Do you think it was bad taste, like, how quickly those people were outside Buckingham Palace going, God save the king? Or Sounds whatever. weird. Doesn't sound right, does it? Yeah. God save the king. <laughs> His dirty old ring. It, do it doesn't... Yeah, well, yeah, it's a rhyme with king now. <laughs> God save the queen! Something ice cream. What was the line of that song? Can't remember. But um, have you seen The Crown? Yeah. What happens? <laughs> 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 what, what happens next? Uh, I don't know. I watched all of it while I was in that fucking hospital room for four weeks. Oh. So I can't remember. I was delirious most of it on uh, Oxycodone. Oxycontin. <laughs> I was just like that. Like, what? A dope sick over here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I ring you and you're like, what? Well, uh, what up, two more? And you're like, I'm on that lean bitch. Yeah. Gone full pimp mode. Um, what happens? Yeah, they're definitely on. What's her name? Olivia. What do you call that actress? Olivia. Oh. Can't remember. Wild? No, what's her name? You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Um, she won loads of awards. Uh, no, it is good. The Crown is actually quite good. It does tell. It'll be interesting to see how it tells more of the modern stories. I know. It's cleaning up that Certainly, Diana mess. Yeah, it's kind of only just getting into all that now. I don't know. Can't, do you know what's weird though? Like how much tourism in England is to do with people coming to see the Queen? Because it's all like you know the Queen, yeah. and it's the Queen, and she's been around like forever, like everyone's whole life. The Queen has been around. Can't see it with Charles at it's all. A, it's can a lot, you? It's a lot cuter than. It's uh, a cute, like it's a wee old woman yeah. and her little dogs, and she's done it all. She rules and, over the kingdom, you know, you know and, and now it's just your man, like. And, and she's literally come from like you know, she's close. To, you know her family and generations like it's so much closer to all those like you know what you imagine kings and queens are charles don't say it just it's weird isn't it i know i'm trying to charles on a tea towel no charles on a tea towel like do you think people are going to come to buckingham palace just to be like oh i hope i get to see charles no can't say it so. just not the same is it i'm trying to um it's sort of the the last i think of the well, I'm trying to, monarchy. Was, prince charles funny moments do we go for it Oh my god. Is this a thing? He's such a Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I remember the one where What is happening here, you fucking asshole? Oh there he is, dude, the robot bro! What is happening to that? Oh my god, I don't know. What is happening to that? Scared. <laughs> Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> Look at him doing the robot! Fuck yeah. Oh, stop.
That's him not Honestly. answering the phone when Andrew called him. <laughs> oh, not even gonna fucking do <laughs> Oh dear, not today, bitch. Ooh. Ghislaine. Uh, Mummy. Mummy. Uh, <laughs> that my illness will now demonstrate his butt credentials. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Belarus. <laughs> Let's have laughing at Bill Bailey. These two, so you play this stuff, and I'm sitting there going <laughs> <laughs> downstairs somewhere. It's an old place. Where's the interview where like the photographer turns out? He's like, I fucking hate. He, under his, he's like Mike Dobbins. <laughs> like I fucking hate that cunt. Fucking wanker. Oh, for the higher ground of the Highlands and Aberdeenshire, the potential for a few flurries over Balmoral. Who the hell wrote this script? Uh, as the residents, West Indian, Asian, Vietnamese, and white. Pack the pavements ten deep to welcome the prince. For one lady, the chance to get Oh yeah, the look at her. He's, he's meeting the public. And this this yeah, woman. Really as much as know. Know. <laughs> there he is doing the primal movements in the forest. I could watch this all day. This is great. The video's called uh, it said The King of Comedy. Look at these fucking get a job, will you? Imagine that weekend away. Papa. Oh, Papa, I'll just ride around the forest. And now here's our scheduled time I'm together. hungry. What time are we eating a swan? Bobby, is the swan ready yet? Did you stuff the peacocks? I'm famished. <laughs> Hold on, I'm down here in a kilt tickling some trout. Nothing to do. You do some fucking work, guys. It's too organised fun. Yeah. It's very organised. That's how I don't like about it. Yeah, they just... Kundil. Probably just dead, re you know... Re you know, like all that, someone's lying there with sushi on them. You know, one of the, like, it's very royal and kind of, uh, de you know what I mean? Demeaning mm. the people, you know? Someone told me a story once that uh, when these boys were colonizing Africa, they would be, they would set up a wee bit of golf for themselves. And to keep the bugs away from them, they'd have just a local tribesman with his head covered in like jam. Really? Somebody told me that in the pub. Oh my so, god! So uh, you could check, great. you could check that out. So they're just. I mean, I actually believe it, but they're playing. <laughs> they're playing a few bits of golf, and there's this guy just stop it, just head like fucking on fire with wasps, because he they'd covered his head in jam. <sighs> Don't make me look that up. Let me see what else. Yes, what else has the man been up to? There's the Dia Madna. Hello, oh, come. Oh, fuck it, I want to see more home videos. There's Dench. <laughs> to be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> shut wow. Up, shut up, you silly bastard. Mummy. Why does he keep being like, mommy? <laughs> anyway, this needs reviewed. Anyway, but I mean, yeah, it's just, people it's go not like, he's so funny because he's like, he's says a, goofy a normal fucker. thing. That's why. It's a weird setup, isn't it? Yeah, it's his ass fucking nose, like, you know, the back of the pine coin. The nose coming off the coin. Half the nose. I'll be weird, isn't it? Too, people are, I don't know, it just doesn't work in a modern society. A monarchy like this. Is, so if you've like robbed a bank, now's the time to cash it in, go buy something. Uh, just, you know, before before they change the money. And you go in there and like, well, don't take a fucking Lizzie's anymore. <laughs> oh, there's going to be a whole new like uh, vocab going on. Yeah. You know, fuck, he must be on some fucking Charlie's. That's what I thought. I know, it's a funny one, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck, I must I have stung you some fucking, ch some princess, some Charlie's. All the pubs are like roll up, with. roll up at Charlie to sniff this Charlie. <laughs> Fuck sake, I'm excited. But, but all the pubs not called like the Queen's something. So like <laughs> the fucking King's legs. No? That, that looks like an animation. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like it's from fucking Paddington. <laughs> Look at the old sausage fingers. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, what is it? <laughs> this is a fucking animation. What the heck Christ is this? He shrunk old. That's the best way to make a long story short. Or oh, Charlie. <laughs> Guy's out of his mind. Anyway, he's out of his mind. We're yeah. all, we're, yeah, he's going to have to fucking get real serious now that he's, what's the term, in office? In office, is that what they say? I don't know. Sure, they don't do fucking anything anyway. I was saying the other yes. podcast, uh, do, do you think the Queen has, you know, they handed her a wee contract and she just ticked certain names of people that she wanted wiped out when she was gone? You know, Marco? <laughs> we just gotta, we gotta just watch and see now. See what happens. Yeah. If they accidentally, you know, like fall off a boat after having a heart attack or something, be very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, this part of me wants to believe all of the conspiracy theories about it. And mm -hmm. other parts like... They really think that would really happen? Don't know. Don't mm. know. Mm. I don't know. Mm. So we it just it just seems I don't know. It's a strange thing to have a monarchy, isn't it? Yeah. Kings it's and Queens. Absolutely, it just it's pointless. And then it seems strange. Do you think days. that you know that was good timing to brush over the fact your woman trusts us in? And no one seems to know who she is or give a fuck. Well, she didn't want a monarchy. There's like very famous footage of her. Really? Yeah, I've just seen that. It's all over the internet. <laughs> That'll be the queen in. Trust. Couldn't trust her as far as that's I could fucking the, throw her into a canal dead. That's the whole joke because she's like when she was like younger in uni and stuff being like, I don't think anyone should be born into like, you know, a place, you know, a place or whatever. Like they shouldn't be born into a point of power or something, whatever the quote was. But she's she wants the monarchy abolished. And now she meets her and then she's dead like a dead. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She met her? She got to meet her? Yeah, yeah. She, you have to to start a new parliament. You have to like go to the Queen. So she had to go to her because the Queen couldn't come down. So she's there and then... You go in and kiss gone. her old stinking hand? So she was against it, you know? Oh, God. She was against it. But sure, it's just part of the job, isn't it? you got to deal with, you know, all your co-workers. Yeah. You know? Go meet the manager. No, well, yeah, that is part of it, but she didn't want that, which is quite funny. Rubbing fucking Novichok in her palms before she was to meet her. Let's go see this, little bitch. Doesn't do anything, just that, you know, the king steps, the king steps in. That was the, the Nigel Farage video. He was just like, very sad day. But anyway, we've got a king now, so it's all good. He was in a, he was in a helicopter crash, didn't kill him. Was he? Farage, yeah. Have you seen the photo Jesus now? Christ. No. You see this. Farage helicopter. Unbelievable! I love. I'd love to know who took this photo as well. You know, there's, there's look at this. or was it a wee, was it a wee plane? Sorry, there he is. Oh Stop Jesus! It. That's a class photo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at that one. That one's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't laugh, but I mean, you know. Just fall out of the sky. I assume so. <laughs> Unless he hit a wall, taxi. <laughs> Wouldn't put it past him. He's fucking pissed all the time. Farage, you know what I mean? You get him on the on the cameo, he'll say anything. Oh, that's right. Somebody pay him 40 quid, he'd be like, fuck the queen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't give a shit. Um, Glad but... she's dead. Chucky Allah. Up the raw. You know, Allah Akbar. <laughs> See, anything for money. For 35 pounds. <laughs> that cameo thing is weird, isn't it? Hey, Farage, there's 50 quid. Drop an end bomb. No problem, my <laughs> In a plane crash. Oh, look, he crashed and then he... Oh, this is hilarious. He crashed and someone went, you better put your jacket on. <laughs> and then there's like bouncers come along to fucking pull him away. That is wild, though. Just to fucking... Uh, just to crash a plane. Of all... The, like, Kobe died in an air aircraft disaster. So many people. And then this fucking route. Still doing cameos. I know, what is it about just some of the weirdest characters? Just, they, they can't be killed. You know what I mean? You hear their life story and you're like, oh, you are like, an, you are an actual cockroach. Like, you won't die. <laughs> and then there's all these amazing people just like gone in a second. Yeah. And there's other fucking people and you're like, how have you lived through all this shit? It's a lesson to be learned. You know what I mean? There's no point in trying to be good. There's no point, guys. Just Fuck quit. everyone. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Don't worry about anyone else's feelings or well-being. Yeah. Fuck them all. And you too could survive an aircraft disaster like this guy. His face there says to me, what, what do you think he's saying right there? Oh, fuck. That's what he said. 
His face couldn't be more. Oh, for fuck's sake. And he's obviously been upside down for a minute because the blood's run back down his head there. How many photographers were here? I feel like they were all lined up to be like, oh, Farage is getting into a plane pished. And then he goes to take off and then three seconds later he's in the dirt and they're just like... <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> this is very much for the video view. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so funny to me? <laughs> Look at him there. That's like Eddie when you wake him up in the car. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. In a suit too. Like, I wonder, was he dra- was he flying the plane? That'd be cool to know. Anyway, any other crack? <laughs> Just you. Just obsessed with Nigel Farage. You don't know anything about politics, but you know about Nigel Farage because he's hilarious. No, I don't. Up the rock. <laughs> That's him. He's given, he's given us hours of entertainment. Uh, I feel like sending him money for nothing. Yeah, just do you want to come here? What do you want? Nothing. Nothing, man. It's just a thank you. Just you thank a, you. Farage, do you have a Patreon? <laughs> What's your top tier in Patreon, Farage? Well, you pay ten pounds a month, and I call you a racial slur. Love it. God save the king. <laughs> 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 what have we been up to, Maureen? What have we been up to? <laughs> Our comedy club reopened, do you remember? Yeah. How many times have you been? Once. Once. It's going from strength to strength. To it's strength. tough when you have a small child to get to things at nighttime now. It is. Especially if you're away. Yeah. Because I have to organise babysitter just to go to libraries. And then what happens is we get home very late and then Eddie, Eddie wakes up. Yeah. And then no one gets any sleep and it's horrific. So I tend to just go sporadically sporadically do all the work from home we had some people thrown out last night which hasn't happened in a while I know I can't believe that that hasn't happened in and they were American too they were all like yeah dip your money they probably were just in the bar and then decided to come up I'm guessing they were sold out though so I don't know maybe did they get a door ticket they there is no the they were odd. sitting they were, they were yeah. sitting down in a group mm, okay and uh, they were make, they were all whooping and hollering the way Americans do and then the bouncer was like, shut the fuck up, no time to be, no time for fun around here. You're in Belfast, you're allowed to laugh, you're not allowed to enjoy yourself too much. Get out the fuck. Know what I mean? That's good. I know, we're, 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 we don't have a strict policy, but we're pretty like no bullshit when it comes to people being assholes, like, no time for it. Well, you're ruining the night for it's everyone. Too much of a good show now to, you stick out if you're being an asshole now. True. Like, you really do, like, you're just, you don't look right. Well, there was a lot of queen jokes, of course, and one girl was like, stop it. And then I joked around and said she's about to get her float out here. <laughs> Euphemism? There was, a, there was a house near us when I was growing up, and I'm pretty sure they painted a big fucking mural on the side. Yeah. I think the queen was involved, and uh, they, the person that lived in the house was like an alcoholic, and they just went down with a bottle of vodka and went like, here, take that there. Can we paint the side of your house? And they went, no problem. And then went ahead and painted on the Is side that, of the I house. I always wondered how it worked, actually. I don't think that's always how it works. You're right. I think a lot of times they're like, I'm going to do a fucking UVF painting on the side of your house. Whether they like it or not. Yeah. And I'm just letting you know that because I'm being polite. It's already painted. Yeah. If you'd like to come see. <laughs> yeah. We've got the U and the V on. <laughs> and if you're happy enough for us to go ahead with the F and the two masked men, I'll stick it up. <laughs> That's what I'll do. They don't have a mask on right now, but... In 10 minutes, I'll be putting it on. I told you that story a million times about my ma used to be a social worker and she was in like uh, court with someone. And they were like, oh, asking this guy, like, you know, he probably had his kids taken off him or something. And they were like, do you have any paramilitary involvement? And he was like, no. And they were like, well, why did it say UDA in your hand? And he went, because my dog's called Otta. Stop it. I've probably told that a million times, but it's, it's so stupid that... Uh, it could be... It's definitely true, then. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, I, when you think about it, imagine having that tattooed on your hand, thinking no one will know. I mean, what three fingers would you pick? Is my, you know, would you would it go from there to there? And a full stop? Full stop, yeah. Explanation mark, maybe? Uh, explanation mark? <laughs> <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> exclamation mark. What else have I been up to recently, Maureen? You tell me, I can forget. All I've been doing stand-up. We we were at a pet and zoo thing the other day. Yes, with a zebra and a llama. Yeah, we fu- it was an alpaca. Alpaca. You're a fucking racist. Uh, apparently, alpacas don't have what did they what did you say? They don't have top teeth. Or bottom teeth. No, they have bottom teeth. 
Oh, no you, top teeth? You feel them doing a wee, a wee <laughs> nibble. A wee nibble. <laughs> but tell you what, that bowl of feed that you had for the things, you know, a fucking couple of beers in you, you'd be like... It's not good. Give us a bit of my alpaca peanuts. Yeah, but you're always hungry. Literally, we had just eaten and we left and you went, I'm starving. And that's, I ain't going to get that tattooed on my f- hand. I'm starving. Because that's all you said to me. I'd say 90% of our conversation is you tell me how starving you are. Oh, well, yeah. And then the other is, what would you love to eat? And then the other is, I'm going to make food right now. <laughs> and that's, I'd say, a good 90% of our conversation. Listen, I'm every, starving. Everybody has. And we fucking... go to his literary petting zoo and you're like, the feed looked good that they're giving <laughs> the fucking alpacas. <laughs> It smelled like beef, though. It was like a beefy treat. Do you have a tapeworm? I might. Do you need a tapeworm? <laughs> <laughs> I love a tapeworm. I'm you know, fucking starving. I love a tapeworm. Imagine that was a legit way to like lose weight. Where they're like, um, if you're if you're struggling, um, if you're struggling, we'll just release these parasites into your body. Apparently, it's very common. I was on something in TikTok and they kept, some colonic irrigation place, and they kept they were putting like. You know, water up someone's hole, whatever that's called. Yeah. And just everybody had fucking wor- big worms coming out of their butt. Is that what you're watching on TikTok? Not exclusively, you know what I mean? There's other things as I well. Couldn't, I couldn't watch that. Obsess extra- extraction. Yeah, I, I couldn't watch uh, that. You know, people doing surgery on cow's feet for whatever reason. And uh, street fights and a lot of military, like, you know, here's here's like head cam footage from a shootout. Colin. In, in Colin. Afghanistan, yeah. Do you ever wonder why you uh, think you're always having a heart attack or have anxiety or ADHD and you're literally watching fucking worms <laughs> being turned out of the back of somebody <laughs> at night time <laughs> and then going to sleep and be like I didn't sleep well you're like yeah you're watching people get murdered with parasites in their ass how could you relax <laughs> so I actually had a ban you watching fights remember like this street video fights video live from, from Fallujah <laughs> Not the same video. A man has a t- fucking tape worm pulled out of his ass by the Taliban. <laughs> Taliban sees a man with an ass full of worms. That's my Ross Kemp, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Do you remember uh, there was a video of Ross Kemp and he, someone, tra- like a gang in like South America, tried to hold him up, and he's he's went all movie mode. He was like, "What are you doing? You gonna shoot me? You gonna shoot me? You gonna shoot me? No, you're not." It was real? Like they were, they were No, because like, I don't watch things like that. Why not? How do you go to sleep? It's not relaxing. How do you go to sleep? I have a toddler who's absolutely exhausting. He's up for ta- nine, oh, 19 toddler. hours a day. Listen, you'll never have sleep like it when you're right before you go to sleep. There's a guy squeezing an abscess on his neck <laughs> against the mirror. You wouldn't know relaxation. <laughs> you wouldn't know relaxation until you've watched videos of someone getting an ingrown toenail cut, up, cut oh. away. I, but do you not dream about that when you watch that? No. Because if I watch something right now, mm-hmm. I'll be dreaming about it tonight. Okay. That's it. Fucking Prince Charles doing the robot is going to be in my dreams because I've watched it right now. Uh, I can't. Yeah. It absorbs too quickly in my brain. If I watch something gross, that's it. That my, Like, it's just, I can't. My whole dream will be something weird. Prince Charles wasn't gross. That was got, um... I don't mean that one, but... Work of if art. If I watch anything. <sighs> Mommy. If I, I can't watch, like, scary films at night. I can't do it. Okay. Not anymore. We'll stick to the porn. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, fine, but anything else. What was I going to... I was going to show you something there, I forgot. But you don't get grossed out by things like that, don't you not? What like? Any of those gross things. The fact that you say what like <laughs> and just listed... There, I tell you, there, I tell you, there's one thing, there's uh, a couple of things that make me like, like squirm a bit and it's usually... Somebody like breaking a bone. I was gonna say you always say so like, like blood bones. and guts and fucking all shit flying all over the place doesn't really affect me. But if someone like you know someone's like using a leg press machine and they miss the pins and their legs go backwards, I don't like that. Or if I'm even if I'm watching like jujitsu or UFC or something, and someone's in like a heel hook, I'll just be like, oh my god, it's like a horror movie. It's like oh my god, here we go, and then their knee goes and then they they tap. No one likes that. It's painful. Yeah, gross. But nothing else grosses you out. Isn't that weird? Like if I was at the UFC and they, you know, they did one of those like Anderson Silva, you know, leg kicks and it breaks and they put the foot back down and the middle of the shin touches the ground first, I would just be in the front row like, 
<laughs> over the back of Joe Rogan's head. <laughs> <laughs> just like, imagine you just seen Just that. making the noise of nothing yeah. coming out. <laughs> yeah. I haven't eaten in ages, Joe. Has <laughs> tapeworms had all my dinner? Has <laughs> tapeworms had all my poke up? <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, the wee farm is cool though. Uh, I would get, yeah. I would get, uh, they should invent a cow that doesn't grow past a certain size. You know, they get many piglets and all that shit. They should, they should have a cow that just stays about the size of a dog. Why? Cute. You know? Does that do anything for you? You know, like when you, when you see a cow, you're like, oh man, I, sh- I really shouldn't eat beef. Uh, it always crosses my mind. And then you have a burger and you're like, fuck them. No, I always go, does this make me feel like I couldn't eat meat? Mm. But then I always think most of the cows that you see, they're only there because they've been bred for food. They're not like just wandering around if, you know, if if they hadn't been there. So you're basically going, you better appreciate this wee bit of life because you wouldn't have been here unless we have a burger in your near future. Not really, but I just... You know, they're there on purpose. Mm-hmm. It's not just like, you know, you're looking at random wild animals that you're just eating and then ruining the population. It's not if that. They were, yeah, if they were doing a couple more. They're produced more, for food. So it's hard to think of it that people way. People would argue that's cruelty. If they did a few more tricks. not cruel. If they did a few more tricks, you know, you'd be like, that's too smart to be eating. But they do just stand there like sucking that bottle that we were giving it. It's hard. It's funny. You know the way... Like veganism was like I've seen a video huge. of a guy getting sucked off by a baby cow one time. Okay, great. And I'm guessing just before you go to sleep, and I'm like <laughs> your phones in your face like this, and then you're like, yeah. And then you wake up with it's definitely one of those comedy group ones. You know, like there's a farmer just pulls his dick out, and the cow's like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <clears throat> Paddy McDonald probably. No wonder there's fucking get... incels in the world. Like. Yeah, and I'm just yeah, you're asleep beside me, and I'm just watching. I go. <laughs> <laughs> just lock it, put my, set my alarm, go to sleep. It's usually, yeah, usually you just close your phone and then the next morning you open something and it's horrific noises. I'm like, what were you watching before you went to sleep? A farmer getting sucked out <laughs> by a guy. Good morning. Would you like to hear coffee? How have we went from the queen to this? I don't know. What animal would you <laughs> take? I, I would definitely, I would definitely get an alpaca. There was meerkats there. They were f- great crack. They're fighting each other, and then they'd look at you, and then they go like, they turn the, you know, the way the meerkats are all like that. This one was like, oh, fuck you. He was yeah, looking yeah, at me like the right cartoon now. You looking at you? Fucking yeah, that's what I was gonna say. But you know the way veganism was, it's always been around, but huge wave of people doing it. I've seen a lot more people now because they're putting up videos online who were. Maybe not vegan, but they're definitely at least vegetarian. Turning to carnivore di- diets. Oh, carnivore! Because a lot of people are seeing the benefits of red meat. Mm-hmm. They most a lot of the time eradicate a lot of other stuff, but they're eating meat, if not exclusively meat. Not I'm not talking like liver king kind of shit, but I mean going carnivore, like going like oh I used to be vegetarian for twenty years, but now I've read blah 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 and I met this person, this person, and I realized you can only get xyz from animal fat and protein so i'm eating that because it's literally the best thing you could eat for your body and i've seen it i've seen so many people convert to that and i remember when remember i had said to you i had went to someone who did like acupuncture and chinese medicine especially like to help with all my blood flow and all this kind of stuff and she said the exact same thing to me because i was like oh you know what's a good diet like should i be this should i be eating more plant-based should i be Thinking like that's gonna be way healthier. She's like, no, you need to be eating red meat and bu- like she goes, Bull blood makes blood. She's like, you need to be eating like bone marrow, liver, red meat. And I was like, what? And she said, like, yeah, you need to be eating like proper. Yeah, you can't. She be said like the way your granny used to eat. Basically, she's like, you know, yeah, stews yeah. where they're like boiling things and there's bones and stuff and veg and everything is cooked up and it's slow cooked and. There's bones. Basically, there's bones in it. The way you're talking, the, worm, the worms like, in my oh stomach my are doing backflips right now. <laughs> That's my expression. I just have worms in my stomach. A bit nervous. Eating the butterflies. But yeah, <laughs> it's where The worms are eating your butterflies. It's, uh, it's a fucking zoo. I mean, like, t- I remember watching yeah. the thing once and the guy was like, you know what takes a cow? Like, to f- you know, eat fucking whatever amount of 
fucking grass to make this amount of the equivalent nutrients in a steak or something and the person was like the person was like yeah thank god imagine i had to do that to get that amount of nutrients i just have to eat the steak yeah Duh. yeah, yeah. there you go it's way more fun. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be, I'd jump ship pretty quick. I'd be like, yeah, I'm doing it for my health. Oh, big fucking five guys. Are you a veggie most of the time at home? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah. I cook a lot, cook a lot of vegetarian stuff, but uh, yeah, I don't like lean towards vegetarianism, right? Mm. I, mean, I, 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 I don't I, see, I, you see like stews and like spag bowl and all that. You don't notice any difference. Yeah. No, that's true. But that is like, true. it's just like if you're, you know, like burgers and stuff. I made a fucking lentil bolognese once. It was deadly. No, but that's it. I eat a lot of vegetarian food. but Vegetarian lasagna? B- b- is nicer, I think. Now, has there nine blocks of cheese in it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. Stews. I would say most of my true. food is vegetarian, but then I do try and eat like... Yeah, the bits that aren't meat are vegetarian from Roast me. beef and we try and do like slow cooked... Yeah. meats now don't we oh yeah totally we did do you did shin like beef shin stew whenever i was trying to like get all my bloods better you would make a lot of we'd like go yeah. to the butchers and buy beef shin and i was like oh and because i had basically eaten vegetarian i wasn't vegetarian but most of my meals would have been like that for so long i was like i don't think i can eat this like this is going horrible it was so nice and then the more i started introducing red meat again like way more of it than i would have used to i was like i actually feel great like I really do feel great. I feel like I needed it. I feel Shin, like I really Shin's needed good it. gear. Yeah. But you used to be able to like, I think you could just go to a butcher and be like, here, hook us that out of the bin for the dog. And he'd be like, there you go. And then it became all popular. Then you go in and buy like beef shin. And he's like, yeah. that's 18 pound a kilo or something. You don't need much though. Weirdly. No, I went absolutely. We got a lot of it. Remember, thinking, I was like, there's not that much meat on this. I'm going to get like a big bag of it. And it was so much. Can and I, I can but, believe it. but I also put in like steak pieces into the stew mm. and the shin, and like so much fat comes off it because it's all fucking bone marrow and all. It's greasy as fuck. All the like collagen and all that stuff. It's good it's shit. Great. But it I mean, it, it's one of my, you know, if you just hiked up a fucking mountain and someone handed you a big fatty stew, you'd be loving it. You'd be absolutely loving it. I know, like, if you were really starving, like, what would you really crave? And your body will crave more fat and stuff like that anyway. Yeah. You don't really. Crazy. I've never hiked up a mountain and I'm Veggie still craving lasagna. the fat. I just got an image of, sh- of uh, Niall just out in his back garden, just shoveling chicken fellets into him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to take a dog for a walk here. <laughs> one, th- one thing is, when I do cook meat, I like I really go for it. Right. You know, like uh, you know, like buy good meat and stuff. I wouldn't buy like yeah. fucking... I thought you were like... You know, like I try not to cook too much in front of the girlfriend, and then you just with a fucking hog roast at the back. <laughs> when I go for it, I, I really go for it. I will be, you know, butchering, <laughs> you know, a it's deer a in the back garden. Yeah, you need to go like organic meat or something. You yeah, know? you can't be uh, buying like fucking no. multi-pack chicken breasts or something. No, that's no. the worst shit of all time. That is so funny. You're just like, I, t- I, I don't tend to go for it, but when I do, and then I just have a vision of you just slitting the things through your garden. <laughs> Come blood. out like Dexter, just like. Fred's just watching the telly and there's blood hitting the window and all, and you're like fucking trying to wipe it off. <laughs> just, just, just once a month, keep my protein up. <laughs> Into a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> you stabbing the life out of some fucking animal. Blood soup. When I do go for oh it, I do God. catch it myself. <laughs> <laughs> for nine magpies this this week. <laughs> I remember. I've t- have I told this before? There's a guy I used to do jujitsu with. He's like, oh, my girlfriend got me a crossbow for Christmas. Right? And I was like, Jesus. okay, that's interesting to be doing at like 35. And then he's like, yeah, I was thinking about going down to the gasworks and like shooting a swan. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, huh? And he's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can eat swans. And I was like, okay. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Imagine that. Imagine walking the dog and he's like, Shoo. ah! Is, is it not illegal to do that? Probably. Not now the Queen's dead. You can fucking kick the shit out of someone. Might once. have been a loophole there. But I'd love to test that thing and see if it can really break your arm. Think I'd watch that. Jigga Swan could break my arm. What stop? Like, I don't know. I really don't know. Do I let it take the arm, grab How it by the it neck, and then full Hulk it off the ground? Fa dunk. Fa dunk. Ah! Know what I mean? I'd say, you know, the neck's very strong. I'd imagine it'd be harder than you think to throw it over. But it weighs not the same as me. 
science talk there. But it's a different shape in it. But so what? Like if I grab its neck and I can comfortably lift it all off the floor. The what, if it, what if it's biting you? You let it bite you. Okay. You know, it's like a police dog. Let it take the arm. Kni- <laughs> knife it. <laughs> what dog? Oh, you have an LC. What do you call those Belgian fucking mayonnaise? Or, what are they called? My, oh, why? Uh, Be- uh, Belgian fucking mawans. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the crazy sort of attack dogs. Yeah. I've seen that another mental video I've watched before I went to bed was uh, a couple of them. They were like, this is why you shouldn't own one of these. And uh, one of them was like a police demonstration where the thing went like th- ran and went like through the two windows of a car and just hit some guy. It was part of a demonstration, took him down, and all that shit. And then the second one was a girl trying to train one in a park. And she's like, you know, it's just in their DNA to be like this. And... Uh, she, you know, she was just sit, sit. It was doing wee loops around her, and then she had a biscuit, and it took a snap at the biscuit, and then it went for it, and then it just like the spring that they have, it's just like whoa, it just goes through the air like a fucking rocket, and grabbed her by the arm trying to get the goddamn biscuit. Wow! Get a fucking cockapoo, bro. Could you be arsed for that? No. The thing is, it's like a missile with teeth. Look it up. Look it up before you go to bed and then have a dream yeah, about being hunted yeah, down by crazy dogs. That's exact. But I'm glad you know that you've uh, pre-thought out all these ways you're going to defend yourself against animal attacks. Name an animal, I'll tell you how to kill it. <laughs> Name one. Elephant. Gone. Gone. <laughs> Name another one. Name another one. They're all gone, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rifle, go ahead. Name another one. Caterpillar. Grab by the end, blow it up. <laughs> Pop it. Go, another one. <laughs> Pop it. What? Pop it, like in a balloon. Oh what my god. Like, <laughs> fuck's a poppet? <laughs> oh my god. A mint poppet? Giraffe. Giraffe? Yeah. Gone to the ankle. <laughs> no, I would just, I would take an axe and just take it out of the Achilles. Okay. We just fucking flop over. I mean, essentially, it is a tall swan. It would break it's your arm. It's definitely in the swan family. Do you ever, <laughs> do you ever watch, sure. do you ever watch uh, giraffes fight each other? Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Way to go to sleep also. Uh, <laughs> watching them headbutt each other in the do throat. Do swans fight like that? Hmm. Oh my God. Swanfights.net. <laughs> that's probably... It's the only animal you haven't seen fighting That's so like far. something they would bet on. You know, like, Mammy, is, 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 after dinner, can we have swan fights? Can we bet on the swan fight? Oh, it's the worst fight of all time. They lean over each other's shoulders and bite each other in the ass. This one's trying to break it up. Fuck out of the way, That's the worst way to fight. That's the worst way to fight. I mean, that's just like one big tangled up animal now. Jesus. That'd be a cool tattoo though, wouldn't it? Two swans entangled. Oh, what a stupid animal. And they're protected? Yeah. And they need protection? Fucking idiots. Yeah, funny that, isn't it? But if your boy with a crossbow headed down to the park in this scenario, he'd have fucking just went th- like straight through three of them. What do you think swans <laughs> taste like? Stinking. Be like eating a seagull. What is it? Are you eating a seagull? <laughs> <laughs> You're like... Well, there's certain kebab no. shops in Belfast. You're like, it might as well be. Birds what? are rotten. I don't like birds. Birds no. are rotten. Well, someone told me one time there was a chicken house somewhere near us and the air con or whatever broke on a hot day and they were saying like the chickens basically just melted. You know what I mean? Like, that was Owen told me that. He's like, yeah. oh, they're dirty, dirty old animals. Yeah. <laughs> Not a real animal at all, just an old bag of sauce. <laughs> and the air con breaks and they just, literally like they just fucking melted and ripped apart and sludged all over the floor that will put you off chicken that will put me off chicken you can be put off chicken no bother Mo- most <laughs> most uh, uh yeah after the videos i've watched but most uh well that th- th- some of the videos are hectic you know like someone opens their birds are their kfc and there's like a, a full head battered in there 11 herbs and spices. That's the one thing that I can't think about. Like, I do eat chicken, but if I think about it too much, I don't want to. I also don't like touching raw chicken. And I'm terrified of cooking chicken because I overcook it because I just hate the idea. Like, the fact that there can be a meat, like, you can eat something 
that if you don't cook it properly, you'll get really ill. Like that doesn't sound right, does it? Like no. beef, you can like undercook and that's fine. Like it's yeah. actually meant to be that way. But chicken's like, if you undercook it, you'll be really ill. And you're like, this doesn't sound like you should eat it. Yeah, like Liver King isn't walking around being like, I take these, uh, you know, chicken feet and I eat them raw. You don't see him doing that. I mean, it, um, yeah. And that's just an observation I've made. That'd be, the, that'd be the rankest thing ever, actually, if he was just like, Liver King here, eating my protein, and just crunching through a chicken's raw body. Feathers and all, just... Feathers, yeah. Just eating it. That's eating what the, the good stuff is, eat the beak. Uh, Quan, who was Kevin Hart's photographer, went to Lee Garden with uh, Shane and made him eat chicken feet. That's and this hilarious. is the guy who won't eat anything that's not beige. Yeah, he only eats... He eats Nando's and peanut butter and that's it. And that's it. And he made him eat a chicken foot. And you're like, I'd eat anything. Shane would do anything for that, you know what I mean? It's a good job he never met Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> He'd do anything. And what does he like to eat? <laughs> He'd be bigger than Elvis. <laughs> what does he like to eat? Fucking camel toe. <laughs> Mouse Perhaps. knuckle. Yeah, okay. I I did eat a chicken. We were yeah, we we were three there and we had a chicken foot. Yeah, we did some chicken and black bean sauce. The foot though, stinking. Just like fatty cartilage. It it yeah. basically is. It it's like squishy chicken skin, and that's it. It could, the skin could be off any part of the chicken. I think. It, it no, it's not for me. That's for sure. Do you know the Do you know the skin around like the the cavity of a chicken? When you cook it, yeah, you get that thicker bit of skin around the neck or whatever, or the ass, can't tell which, which <laughs> is which. The bit that you put the lemon in, and uh, it's a bit like that, wrapped it with, but with nails. <laughs> the one I had, the nails were painted, which is bizarre, I thought. <laughs> had a wee French manicure. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't know what that is, heard that once. What's a, what's a French manicure? Done with like the baguette? A <laughs> yeah. We white tips we on it? We white tips on it, yeah. Oh, bon, bonjour. Yeah. Uh, no. Is that a cool thing anymore, no? Yeah, kind of. Okay. It's not, yeah, sort of. I don't know. Someone, where did I see someone the other day? Was it Diona? Oh, God. Who was it? Someone put up a picture of their nails and they were like, they were like nail color, like nude color, and then black at the end. And I was like, well, we all have that. <laughs> 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 I was like, we all have dirty fucking fingernails. Like, you just got them done professionally. I know. For some reason, you might feel a bit... If it was doing them, we'll beep that whole bit out. <laughs> Keep it in. Just like the only other girl that you follow <laughs> on Instagram. It's the only other female comedian <laughs> I've ever met. I know. I see some people's like nail photos. And I'm like, no. I can't deal with the nude ones where you just look like you've got a dead hand. Yeah, it's weird. Not for me. One of the Kardashians did that that time, do you remember? And she looked like full fucking, yeah. you know, fucking Slender Man hand. She looked like, uh, you know, out of what we do in the shadows. Yeah. Peter, is it? Yeah. Hello, Peter. What about the Kardashians just, lover. just fucking paying some fucking slave to have their baby for them? They're all getting surrogates. Surrogates is the new thing, guys. Who How much is the surrogate getting, like? I don't know, because... 50 square. I don't know what the rules are in America, but a lot of places it's not legal to pay someone to do it, because obviously it could get a bit dodgy, being like... You and you know people need the money, so they're probably only doing it for bad reasons. So, uh, most places it's not. So that's what legal was, to pay what someone. Like, I mean, it's it's legal to do it. I mean, but not legal to pay someone to be uh, a surrogate. They have to want to do it, and you can like say pay for their medical bills oh, or whatever. Right. But I don't know what the rules so she's are like, in America. It's okay. There was no money exchange hands between me and Mister Chloe. And then she just did a Bentley. <laughs> Mr. Chloe. I do it because I. Beautiful man. I do it because I like. Because Mr. Clark can't <laughs> have baby herself, himself. And uh, I said I would do it for free. And there's absolutely <laughs> no no money exchange hands. <laughs> this person in a helicopter. Just in her like, French manicures with her like <clears throat> Gucci believe, bag. Yeah. Believe it or not, I owned this Bugatti before <laughs> I met Mr. Chloe. And uh, I was willing to do this for free. But anyway, I speak to you later. <laughs> Funny you should mention it. I did actually have this Patek Philippe for my whole lifetime. And then I was very rich. I decided for fun I would get into having surrogate babies. 
for Mr. Chloe. And uh, yes, I yes, this is one of my G wagons. <laughs> Straight back to Columbia. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, some crack. I decided it would look good if I got all of this Botox and fake ass when I was doing a surrogate. Surrogate. What's this accent? Uh, vaguely from another place. <laughs> <laughs> not here. Something, Anywhere outside Northern Ireland, this is your accent. Something sounds a bit like not from America. What is it? Uh, I, I like bet it. you they were getting paid, though. Uh, so I'm saying, I don't know what the rules are in America. Maybe you're allowed to pay. Maybe that know. was just, you do it for exposure, and then you go to other families, and you're like, this, uh, this uh, womb, etc., good enough for Kardashian? It'd be good enough for you. <laughs> always driving away always speeding off in a supercar don't know why it's a funny one though because I know with like Kim there was something like one of her pregnancies I think her last two children were surrogate actually but there was something about when she was pregnant the second time like the, there's this whole thing of busy give birth and like you know the placental doesn't come out or something she had to get operations and all and it was basically like this will be too dangerous for you to be pregnant again okay kind of thing because whatever way it affected her or she needed like an operation and it wasn't safe for her body to do that again fair enough but there was sort of a like why is chloe doing a surrogate also she's not with the guy just busy but she they? wanted just busy? but you know i don't know if there's like a medical reason for it or not there must be there's no way she would have just done it for no reason but it is one of those things where you're just like is this just what happens now i'm pretty sure grimes and elon yeah. surrogate how uh, many chicks Lose? is elon bust in like like how many kids does he have does he have like 11 kids or something even he can't it's a lot it's a lot um was there not another one recently it's always like you know such and such oh elon's a dad of course Dude's spaffing and checks. Yo, what the fuck, dude? Oh, yeah. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? That was just the Kardashians pretending to work out. I know. It's that hilarious. Khloe Kardashian workout video is hilarious. Let me see this one. Early sister workout. I'm a force. I do anything I want to. I'm a <laughs> Last one. All the movements are so small. You know what I mean? I mean it's, it's like, God, I'm just, I mean, let me just work out my arms. I seen Kim like assured like this person shows up for something. I don't know what it was. And if you go on his page, he does all these like butt lifts and like, you know, like tummy tucks and all these things. And every single body that the surgeon does looked like Kim Kardashian. Oh, I Like, bet. you know that stomach where it's like flat, but not muscular? Mm-hmm. And there's no definition to it. It's just flat with this tiny belly button. Mm. And then the big ass. And they're really like, they like shape their whole hips. So this guy, I can't even remember Marect. what they call his page. But everybody looked like they're Kardashians. So for them to go, this is totally natural. You're going, well, this guy can create literally your body to other people. That looks exactly like yours. And they all have that same weird stomach. The Joe Do you know Rogan, what I mean? Where it's flat. The Joe Rogan point was, if muscular. you're going to work out to get an ass that big, your legs, your legs. Go, go with you too. Yeah. You don't just That's like all, blow out your it ass. It doesn't have to be implants. It's just taking fat and moving it. So they could be oh, like, oh, it's all normal. I should do that. But I should, you? <laughs> I should take, take my fat and move it into a bin. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carlin, you want, the, <laughs> you want me to take your tits up and um, take your tits for a walk? Into the bin? Imagine you could just do that, just syringe. Well, that's out. what liposuction is, but they have to break it down, so that's why it looks so brittle. They're like... <laughs> sucking it all out. Do you remember that? Do you know what I would go for? There's, there was what? an Australian... It was Celebrity Big Brother, and a guy went on, and he was like an Australian... Uh, jur- you know, like one of these tabloid journalists or something. And he was a fat cunt, but he had like ab implants put in. Which I would go for. Like he's walking along with oh, the big, like so big old beer gut sticking out. And then it just had like fucking, you know, like six beds down the front. With that were lost in the fat. It looked like you set a packet of eggs on a mattress. It was just like fucking in the middle and then all the gut around it. And he's like, yeah, you fucking cunt. But that's whenever that's people used for. to be like, so long as you have a six pack, you look great. Yeah. You know, it was like, you need a six pack. Yeah, he was a fat bastard. He had tits hanging over the top of it. Like, quite impressive. Um, like also, no one has six packs anyway. It's super lean to have a six pack. Yeah. 
Um, it's not like a regular walking around thing to have. Like if I, yeah, for exa- yeah, like it has to be the whole package of attraction. Yeah. Like if I had a six pack in my body, it'd be insane. But where would you have it in your body? Anywhere. The face. <laughs> I'd have a six pack of hair on my head. <laughs> we pack it out. <laughs> I, I do have abs in the back of my head. <laughs> it's like a packet of fucking sausages back of my head. Um, there was a guy. Go, oh, sorry, pardon me. There was a they on uh, <laughs> so, on Big Brother one time. Sam, do you remember? Pre up trans girl. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I used to do material about it because I was like, there's nothing, nothing better than having a dick. You know, because this person was like, I was born in the wrong body. Blah, blah, blah. Going for the surgery. Whatever. As soon as they turned that lights off. Pulling the head off it. See? <laughs> I'd be like, here. You're full of shit. You'll miss it. You're full of shit. Oh, I Absolutely. Do you get... Do you think, you know, when people get, like, limbs amputated, they get, like... Phantom go, cock? Phantom cock. Do they have that? Phantom cock. Phantom cock. Did we visit there in Thailand? Um, yeah. That's the episode name. Phantom cock. Uh... Yeah, you would definitely, you know, you would feel Would you not be walking around being like, oh, where is it? Wouldn't that be funny? It'd be Sensi- handy enough it'd be, sometimes. Like you'd be just, a strange sensation. You'd to pull your that, underwear on and be like, oh my God, first time, no entanglements. Like, people don't think about that side of the funny. Uh, it would be funny, obviously, aside, put aside the fact that, you know, people feel like they're, mis- they're in the wrong gender. But if you just purely went on physicality, it would be a strange sensation to change that, wouldn't it? Hmm. Forget about the emotional attachment, just the actual sensation of it. It would be weird to have a penis and then just not have a penis. Yes. Even I see with Eddie and I try to toilet train him and he's just like, sometimes he'll get it back in the pants, sometimes he doesn't. And so, then you pull down his trousers, like, oh, that wasn't even in your pants at all. No, sometimes, he, just like sometimes you pull out. the pants back up and you've pushed uh, the dick up and it's under the waistband of the pants. Yeah. And you take the pants down again next piss and it's stuck to his body, you know, like a wee <laughs> bit of chewing gum. These are things I didn't realise though, obviously. And he doesn't, like, that would someone, drive an adult insane, but he's just running around. He doesn't fucking, know the difference. He's got strapped up like he's in a tribe. But even... Same with Eddie, like going from a nappy to pants was hilarious because he went from not really noticing anything to going, what the hell? Because there's no big like nappy cushioning it anymore. And now he's just like, what is this? But he walks and along, he just is all like... He walks along like fucking straightening his balls straight out. Straight away like in know, like a lad, just straightening he's all like, his bits out. He's like, fuck shit, my balik's not a fag. Hands down the pants and all oh, immediately. And these cacks are red, mate. Where'd you get these, Asda? <laughs> <laughs> He just looks, he looks like such a lad now when you see him go he to also, toilet. He, also, he just like fully stands over yeah. it. You're like, <laughs> where he's, is my baby? Like you're this boy, he looks like He's way too lax though. He'll start pissing, he'll just start looking around and the piss is going all over the floor and all. He's a lunatic. Like. It's hilarious. Because he's still only, and like, he's be, not even three. He, like. This is the two points of your life when you do this. You do it obviously when you're a toddler, young boy. And then when you get to a certain age, when you're older, you start doing it too. Which is take your dick out long before you get to the toilet yeah on the way like he'd take it out in the living room and then go for the piss yeah that's his signal that he needs to go <laughs> and you'll basically. see you will see like owl boys doing that some places you know like if a toilet if a toilet <laughs> they gotta stop the process if a toilet has like you know two doors like you go through one door and then another door there's a lot of toilets i've been in where some owl boy with it out the second he's through the first door stop it the pub near us i've seen boys in there just lad out in the hallway. Excuse me, you fucking pick. Wait to be an accident. And then they never need to piss anyway. They're just standing there going. <laughs> <laughs> me and Mickey, oh my God. We were in uh, Mason, or it was Mason's in Derry at the time. And there was this old boy steaming in the middle of the urinals. And we just got out of the car and went for a piss. And this guy's in the middle. And he was, you know, he probably struggling to piss at a certain age. And he's like, <laughs> and just going. <laughs> and next like blasting out, we squirts a piss. <laughs> <laughs> and me and Mickey I looked around at Mickey and he was just like I guess here yeah. and the two of us were like fuck it luckily uh, he was steaming and me and Mickey were just like, <laughs> like trying not to laugh because this guy was just going hut, hut, hut. <laughs> just blasted out his piss in like 24 parts and it was freezing so there's steam why off do, the why pit. does that happen? prostate or something I don't know the, the sphinx the, <laughs> whatever it is the squirt pump uh Sometimes I like to imagine that you're a doctor when you explain these things, go for it. I'd yeah. love to be a doctor. I'd be a great doctor. So what happens? Squirt, you know, whatever muscular control you have down there. Your squirt pump, yeah. Yeah, the squirt pump. Mm-hmm. Uh, she just packs in after a while now. Right, okay. And uh, you'd be, you be forcing it on three there. <laughs> you know, they'll, uh, 
pill washers are broke on her. I think a lot more men would go see doctors if they talked to them like they were cars. Talk to them like they were cars? Yeah. Oh, she's wrecked, sir. Yeah. Your whole you've blown that pro- is gone. You've blown that, you've blown that prostate out. <laughs> Jeez. The ceiling's away on. You'll need a new one. <laughs> the ceiling's broke. Too many miles on your... You need a new pump it in there. Dave, I... <laughs> <laughs> the motor's bucked. Uh... Yes. Uh, what, what other terms? The the sump? The sump's falling out of you. <laughs> sump is a great word. <laughs> you have a bunch of sumps hanging out of your arsehole. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have to get them off soon enough. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, You're an uh, absolute heap. Uh, the, blood, the blood's scary, but that's not what's going to kill you. <laughs> The chamber will get you. <laughs> oh my god, stop it. Listen to me. Can you still take pints? You're fucking grand. Get on out there. She's standing there like the fucking alpha man. Uh, yeah, that, that, and it, it looks like a mechanics. Yeah. And you're wearing overalls, but you're like, take a seat there, Mr. Johnson. Take a seat. And the guy just walks around and kicks you in the shins. <laughs> Uh, she's not looking good now. What year is she? <laughs> yeah. Bring your finger up your hole. What year is this? And then just like the dipstick test. Uh, yeah, just pulls and <laughs> cleans up with a wee thing. Perfect. We could do that all day. How long have we talked for there? One hour. One hour, Jesus Christ. <laughs> with children to get back to here. Uh, here's, uh, hey guys, question for Colin. What watch under seven grand is... Or would be a good investment. Cheers. Oh, don't ask me. I, that's the sort of thing I'll answer, and people will be like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" It would have. It would have to just be a Rolex, a Rolex of some sort. But I would stretch. If you could stretch her out to ten now, stretch her out to ten. Get by a Rolex. These are all things that you're trying to convince me that you're going to do, isn't it? No, no. No, you actually did say it. You admitted you preferred. Lots of cheaper watches than one expensive one. Well, here's the thing. Which is actually a trick. Because yeah. you're probably spending more money yeah. than if you just bought fucking one expensive one. But one isn't fun. I know. One isn't fun. I do like different types of watches. Also, my taste in watches means I don't particularly like luxury looking watches. Yeah. Thankfully. It's like you can be in the cars, but you don't have to have a, a fucking Rolls Royce. Yeah, it's true. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's a, it's this that's the sort of thing we're dealing with. Yeah. I'll just buy them broken off eBay. Um, and such a, yeah, I would, I would, I would. Well, it's obviously going to be a Rolex, isn't it? They seem to be the ones that keep their money. Um, yeah, I don't really know anything about watches. I would buy, I'd buy seven different watches for seven grand. Would you? Nah. Is it? Is it better to invest in a watch then? If you're doing it as an investment. Mm. But not fun. Like if you could stretch it about 10 or 11, I'd buy like a, like a, what would you buy? Just a fucking sub, Submariner or like an Explorer or something like that. And just fucking not wear it ever. Keep it for a few years, might sell for the same money. I don't know. From what I've learned is, you know, if, if Rolex put out watches that look like shit, they're going to discontinue them. So the people that do have them. They're worth more money, even when they're hectic looking. You know? It is like art, actually, then, watches. It's the same deal, isn't it? It's, it's like it's how expensive m- people are willing to pay. Sure, how much the, the famous, the famous story there was that uh, Patek Philippe that they did with the blue face. And like they only made a f- like 100 of them or something, the Tiffany & Co. one, and like Jay-Z was wearing it, LeBron, and people were paying like $6 million for it. And then every watch with a fucking baby blue face, the value of it went through the roof. So the, the Rolex Oyster Perpetual with a blue face went from like six grand to fucking 35. I think it went back down again at some point, but for that particular couple of weeks, you could have sold your fucking five grand watch for like 30. That's mad. Off the wrong. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Pretty nice. It's crypto, basically. It's crypto on your wrist. Made that up. <sighs> Do you and Maureen have any specific future goals? Uh, 
Anything specific? That's a good question. We're, we're terrible at doing specifics, aren't we? Well, uh, I've been talking a lot recently about, you know, I've, I've pushed for years and years and years to get not even successful at comedy, just to make a living off it. Yeah. And now I'm a, I'm sort of at an age where I'm thinking about, like, what's other businessy moves I could make? Investments, regular sort of business investments. Yeah, we want to get into investments, don't we? Yeah. I hear NFTs are all the rage. Comment under the YouTube video. Nothing kills my boner like NFT talk. <laughs> but it is funny. You get. I think you spend so long, like both of us have, working to get to a point where it's like, imagine being able to make money at X Y Z. You know, imagine the comedy club being successful. Imagine the blah 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 being successful. Work, 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 and then you get there and you're like, oh, it's so much work. So then now we're going. How do we do this but have time to have a holiday? Like we don't. We don't ever go on holiday basically. Or do anything. So it's like, how do you do it so that you can actually also enjoy your life now and have some time? What's as close to a holiday as you get week to we week? Don't, we don't even get a weekend, really, do we? We might I have was, one day a week. I went down to your mom's house the other day and I was like, oh, is like your sister off work? And she's like, as, and then she was like, it's Saturday. And I went, oh, yeah. Yeah, we never notice because oh. there's always the next thing, the next thing. So we don't even have a weekend. It's terrible. It is weird. There's we. It's weird because there's weird things like we don't we don't get to like mow our lawn. We don't have a Saturday off, so we always have to be like, oh shit. So usually my dad comes and be like, I'm gonna mow your freaking lawn because it's driving me mad that you haven't mowed it. But like, we're never. We don't have that time. We don't have that two hours to do that. We paid a guy. Paid a guy. We had to pay a guy to do it. Yeah, I know. They're, my family were literally about like about to choke when I said. What's your fu- have you any future goals? More businessy things? Just businessy uh, investment. Definitely, just be healthy and alive is my main one. Yeah, healthy's good. Uh, spend lots of time with Eddie. Get some, get a six pack put in. Get a six pack put in. Um, don't know. Love to do lots more family things. Lots more family things. I'd love to yeah. do a lot more family things. Like to, we've actually a lot of exciting. I have a lot of exciting things I want to do with libraries. Mm-hmm. A lot. Mm-hmm. Because I finally feel like after ice cream machine. Yeah. No, but after it's actually been about actually when you think about it now, it's like almost three years since I had Eddie and all the other things. It's probably the first time I felt like do it like actually actively working towards something in my future rather than just trying to get through the next bit of something or maintain or just It's time to thrive. <laughs> figure more. figure out what what the hell to do with my life now. It's time to thrive and grow. It does feel like that though. So it's actually the first time I've actually felt like I have a bit of mental capacity to have a go, if that sounds a bit mad. But, you know, like, so it's actually, I don't really get to go to Lavery's enough because obviously, you know, with Eddie and it's at night time. But all my work is way before Lavery's is on, before the show anyway. But yeah, the only fan shoots are in the afternoon. So. Yeah, that's true. It's easy. But uh, yeah, so I have loads of exciting plans for that because. For me, Lavery's, it, it, there isn't like an end goal for Lavery's. It's just always trying to be better. Chappelle. Chappelle. There's lots of goals. There's lots Sh- of goals, Chappelle's. but like. Yeah, get but then, him in. What's funny is like you could have a goal like, oh, like this would be insane. Like, let's have Dave Chappelle come to the club. And then you see something like hot water and he's just there. Like some of those things, weirdly, it's like, you know, if you build it, they will come. Like the Kevin Hart thing. Like we were. You know, you might go, oh, they were so lucky. But you're like, lucky? It took us years and years and years of, like, you know, trying to get a comedy club working, trying to get people to come to live comedy, trying to get people to come to live shows, trying to get people to watch live comedy that wasn't just in a big arena, trying to get people to watch local comedians. Like, people maybe don't realise that now because it's so popular. But at one point we were like, like, you know, I know no one knows who any of these people are, but we really think they're brilliant. And like, let's try and put loads of people on. It didn't work. But then you do it long enough and then all of a sudden the time and things they're all doing go in pa- a parallel. And then you get, oh, by the way, Kevin Hart's here and wants to go to comedy club and you are the comedy club. And you're like, there you go. And it looks lucky, but it's not, you know. Yeah, bitch. So that's why it's good to not have an end goal. It's more like, He's like what's, what's be the comedy clubs be, they're playing this time? Be good. This one? But, you know, you just have to try and keep improving. So just keep improving. That's my new goal. Nothing too specific. I do have things I would like Move us to up. do. Move on up. That's our motto, isn't it? Do you have any dreams now? Uh, no. L- lunch? No. No. <laughs> I like it. Numb. 
Dreams are for losers. <laughs> Dreams are gay. <laughs> Dreams, are gay. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams are gay, guys. Yeah. yeah. Fuck dreams. <laughs> dreams are for sleeping. Sleepers. <laughs> huh? What? Colin's dreams? Fighting yeah. in worms? <laughs> Toenails? I've no dreams. I've plenty of nightmares. If that counts as anything. What are, what are your dreams, Colin? What are your goals? I, by the way, anyone listen to this, I very, I mean, I love talking about shit like this and I'm always like, Colin, like, what's your dreams or what would you like to do? Or like, if you could do anything, what would it be? And you're like, this is giving me an anxiety attack thinking about this. And now I know why, because of all the fucking madness in your brain. But mm-hmm. anytime I ask Colin about these things, mm-hmm. trying to be quite like optimistic and jovial, you're like, this is too stressful. Because <laughs> you go, I just think about all the things I need to do now and I can't deal with it. And you just have to go. You normally just lift a guitar and walk over in the corner <laughs> and play by yourself <laughs> and stop talking to me. And I'm like, Colin, I'm Here's just asking you like an open ended question. You're like, I can't think about this now. Right. I'm in, I'm in, a, I'm in, I'm in a beautiful place where... <laughs> I get stressed out when I have to do things and I freak out when I have nothing to do. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's nice to be asked though, a question like that just to make your brain go, oh, right now, that's, that's something for, to ponder on. There's no right or wrong answer. Mm-hmm. But it's so funny asking you those things because you're like, what? Does this mean? Oh, and you just go, <laughs> you're like, your brain goes nuts. It's exciting. So normally it like is a terrible conversation for us. I need to sleep on it. I need to sleep I know, on it. You all my responses. It. <laughs> but then you go to sleep and have nightmares. Yeah. Crazy nightmares. Which celebrity would make the best king or queen? <laughs> oh wait. Kanye. Kanye for Queen. Uh Queen of England though. Queen of England. Who's who's a lovely English lady that would be good? Helen Mirren. She was the Queen, was she? Yeah. Marin? Or is it Maury? It's Maury. <laughs> <laughs> that is what do you call the old Maury. woman? She's like an old lesbian. She's always like, you finger my cunt. And Mar- like, What's her <laughs> name? Miriam Margulies? Yeah, she's a yeah. little bit. She'd be good. <laughs> get her. Morris, yeah. eat I'd like my taint, s- you fat cunt. I'd like to see how she does. Farts yeah. on the thing. She fart on the thing. Remember that video? She's like, <laughs> lovely little fat there for you. That was on a cameo as well, her and Farage collab. You don't do anything anyway. Yeah, no one. You have a voice. You're a podcaster, advert. If everyone was a podcaster, who'd serve you your flat whites and McDonald's? Oh, that's true. That was the Acast ad. Did you see that? It's like, if you have a voice, you're a podcaster. Oh, oh yeah. And they're just trying to scoop up billions and billions and billions I do, of ads. I don't like. I don't like that ad because like that either. makes it sound like, oh. Anyone can just tape the conversations and you have a podcast. And that is well, the be literal honest, worst idea. To be honest, you might as well crack on because the shite we've talked today. You know, oh, I mean, this, like, if someone, yeah. I could be like, I have a right to do this. I've been doing this since before it was even fucking cool. Um, and then you listen to this episode and people will be like, oh, okay. And we're just, we're just out, talking about Charles and the robot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know there is definitely conversations where it's just us rambling. There's just rambling madness, but that's okay sometimes. But mm-hmm. what I'm trying to say is mm-hmm. some people should not be allowed to record their conversations because no one needs to hear it. I'm not saying anyone really needs to hear this. But this is a one-off and I'm just here for us to You talk think they don't until other. you're late with a podcast? And then they're like, I've got a blade at my wrist. But do you think anyone should be able to do a podcast? <laughs> well, yeah. What, anyone, would, what, would be the quali- what would be the qualification if, if you needed one? Of course everyone should be able to do a podcast. Now has one. I do, yes. Sign up to my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> now reviews porn. Do you ever see Dave Attell's old porn? No. He'd like watch vintage porn with a big green screen behind him and just <laughs> slaver about their bush and all. It was fucking hilarious. It's great. He goes, I like a bush. So, what was the joke? Somewhere between uh, ISIS and something. Anyway, butchered that. Uh, right, we'll have to end on something here, Maureen. Will you show the video of you helping to push the car at Lavery's last week? I don't have it, but if the girl who filmed it has it and wants to send me the raw video, I'll put it up. But it's very embarrassing because it's just out of the car window and you just see me pass through the window. I want, I want to see it. You see me move through the shot of the window and I'm wearing shorts in the dark and I look big. I look like massive. Are you like bigger than the car? M- nearly. Mm. Looks like I'm pushing a fucking toy car down the street. The handling do you get into like, honestly? What do you mean? That was me being friendly. Where 
we come back from? I think it was the Ke- when Kevin Hart was in Lavery's and we were walking down the street. Oh, yeah. And there's people fighting and then you had to go break up the fight and then you got blood all over you. And I'm like, what <laughs> just happened? I didn't get blood all over me. I got one, all of your shoes. one droplet on my fucking brand, brand new, new like Jordans that were all triple all white. Triple white, high top spice. Got blood. I'm like, what? One drop on it. And I mean, normally I would just see two people fight and be like, let them both die. But, you know, one of them was cons- was massive. Was a lot bigger. And the other one was a wee tiny lad. And he was and, just smack in the face uh, of them. And we were fighting each other. And I was like, I can't really watch this go down. No. And I went over and I grabbed it to him and I was like, fuck off. Fucking act their age, you wee pricks. The two of them were so drunk and floppy. Like, they just, you know, it was like pulling apart yeah. two fucking sheets of toilet roll. I was like, get the fuck out, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but uh, as soon as they were broken up and the staff from the SOS bus thing came out, I was like, I'm fucking on my way. And now they just walked away. I was like, what just happened? Yeah. Give them each a cup of soup. And I'm like, calm down. He's fucking conscious. But what you're saying is, Maureen, I'm a good Samaritan. You, uh, you really are, though. Will you fuck up, too? No, I'm a good guy. Um, <laughs> I know you're all, you're what a, all, you're what all a great way to finish the podcast. Way. Just remember, guys. I'm a great guy. No, no. I'm good at breaking up fights. No, but you do go always go but over But these are just two them. things I'm good at. Wedging myself between two people fighting and pushing a large object. And carrying prams for people downstairs. You do that a lot. Even when they don't want it. <laughs> That's my baby. <laughs> I'm carrying it. You'll have to go down at some stage. <laughs> yeah, Bring done. that child back. No, I'm not done yet. He's down there. <laughs> we get him. Oh my God, what my baby? It's down there, love. I thought I would save you a trip later on. Just in the car park rolling away there. <laughs> That's you. Oh, for fuck's It's mainly, it, when I think of, more than I think about it now, every shop we go into, there's usually always a wee old woman asking you to get something from a high shelf or someone asking you to lift something heavy into a car, out of a car, into something. Everyone just sees this like big figure and like, you, help me. I, uh, or if I'm in Foot Locker, people think I work there. Yeah. If you're size nine in that, and I'm like, no, I don't work here. But I will wear stripy tops and... Jordans. And name tags for name tags. Um what other good things have I done in my lifetime? That's it. Um no there's loads. No, uh, that's it. Carrying babies. Um Pished in Dublin once, just give this little fucking street kid about sixty euro. Street kid? Yeah. I know he's probably probably part of some racket where the you know the, the kids drop him or the, the parents drop him off and be like, look like you're homeless. And then they drive off in the you know, the discovery. And he's like, please, sir, help me. And I'm half pissed. Take out there. I'm not even, that's not really real money to me. This is years ago, I had no money. Take out. Actually, I'll give us a change back. Yeah, take 20 out of it. Take 20 out of that 16, give me it back. But that's it. That's the four good things I've done in my whole life. Maureen, we're going to have to get out of here, are we? Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, we're going to have to get out of here because we have a child waiting at home. <laughs> Um, I have a tour coming up guys It starts uh, It has already started in Derry Thanks for coming out And um, We're doing the SSE We've got special plans for it uh, Congas.com For all the tour tickets It's going to be what Maureen? Good Oh yes Lit. No it's going to be very exciting It is And I think what people Maybe if you haven't been To one of the SSEs before Or, or any big show Are you doing a pitch now? Yeah I'm going to do a pitch, pitch. Alright Because I don't think you're very good at it Um I think what people don't realise is that we put a lot of other things in place for it to be exciting. Snacks. DJs. Lights. That's become our new norm. We have a DJ. We don't do playlists anymore. We do live DJ sets. Mm. Uh, David Guetta's going to be there. Yeah. And Kanye West. And... Colin Guetta. See that video with the girl? She's like, she was in Ibiza or something. She goes... I thought that I was, she, she's like snogging a DJ over the booth. She's like, can't believe I thought this was David Guetta. <laughs> it was just some fella. Just some random dude, you don't know. <laughs> David, David Guetta's so weird. Like, who was a died and David Guetta was like? George Floyd. George Floyd. Shout out to everybody being choked in the streets. My man, George Foreman. Did he say that? No, it was bad though. Will we end on that? Is that our ending oh, video? Gosh. I mean, we're topical, aren't we? We always are. On <laughs> <laughs> you see, David. David. Do you remember someone was like, 
so do you make like 50 billion dollars a day and he's like i do and there's like what do you spend that sort of money on he goes, he goes when i had uh, no money i had loads of time to spend it and now i have money i have no time to spend it so i just have 800 million <laughs> and then he snogged this woman is in honor of george floyd and i really hope we can see more murders like this <laughs> unity and more peace when already things are so difficult so shout out to his family Oh, Jesus. I, I wasn't expecting that. That's my that. favourite video ever. That's so funny. <laughs> so, uh, shout out to his I family. Have a dream. <laughs> anyway, watch this drive. Yeah. Right, we'll have to go, more. Oh, my right. God. Brilliant. We're going to go. There's a fucking Love child it. at home. Thanks, Maureen. Thanks, Nile. Yep. Thanks, Colin. Thanks, Nile. Thanks, Les. Thanks, Nigel, for us. Yeah. See you later. Tell us how you lost your virginity. Uh, just the regular way. Dick and vagina. <laughs> 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 just the way everyone loses it. Dick and guy's mouth. <laughs> <laughs>